Welcome to another edition of the Gridiron Report. I'm Jared Johnson, and I thought I'd do a video to talk with inside the Red Raider subscribers and Red Raider fans out there just about some of the, the, the people leaving the program, the players leaving the program, just this exodus for the transfer portal. Um, we have a like a 26 or 27, maybe even longer than that, page thread on players leaving. I have a running list of players leaving on the Insider with a lot of discussion that's gone all over the place, uh, but about definitely about the roster um, on the Insider, on InsideTheRedRaiders.com. But there's been a handful of guys that have left, and I think Texas Tech fans are concerned, so I just want to talk about it, give you my thoughts on, on what's going on. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it'll make you feel better or not. You know, hopefully so. But let's, let's, let's talk about there's a handful of guys as of filming this, and this is uh, Monday. <laughs> uh, as of filming this, Texas Tech has lost Al recently quarterback Alan Bowman, which I've talked about, and I've, you know, we've said, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this space talking about that because we've gone over it and we knew it was coming and it had been a while, you know, um, for – over a month, we knew it was coming. Now, Alan Bowman, though, you're starting a guy who basically has been your starting quarterback the last three years for the most part. He left, so whether that's a loss or not, that's up for debate. But he's but he's leaving. Um, and then Will Farrar is a it was a backup offensive lineman, but he was a backup at both guard spots and center. Played in every game, uh, and I think he had a chance to start. You know, Jack Anderson leaving. Um, there's some openings, I believe, on the interior of that offensive line. So he had a chance to start next year at Texas Tech. Has two years of eligibility remaining. Um, you put four years of development into Will Farrar, uh, and you know he was the guy who uh, had some drama with teammates, like right off the bat when he got to Texas Tech, but stuck it out. Uh, and uh, you know I, he was a really important player on the offensive line. He played a lot. Like he played. There was, I, as the season went on last year, he played more at guard. And I think Jack Anderson was actually getting some run at center. Um, and Farrar was playing a lot. So I, I'm not going to say this isn't a big loss. It, it's a big loss. Uh, offensive line is already struggling. I think he's a guy that he, he's a legitimate power five starter, two deep guy that's going to you know help somebody's offensive line somewhere out there. So um, that, that was a loss. All right. And then uh, Caden Leggett is a receiver. He Came in from Georgetown High School, uh, what, I think three or four years ago. Uh, he's played. He was put on scholarship before the 2019 season. He's played some. I think he has seven catches for 23 yards in his career and one tackle. Uh, I think three kickoffs for like 68 yards or something like that. So, I mean, this is a negligible, negligible loss. He also got in some trouble for street racing in the off season. Uh, he was given opportunities to play. He was given a second chance to come back after the arrest. Uh, and now he's leaving, and I, to me, it, I wish him the best. I think he's, from, from what I hear from his teammates and coaches, he seems like a good guy, a hard worker, very confident. So I wish him the best, but not a big loss. All right, and then the bombshell was wide receiver Jalen Polk, who played in all he – he announced out of the blue. Like, I didn't see this coming. I really didn't. I hadn't heard anything. I heard a lot of receivers um, were unhappy. But in terms of Jalen Polk specifically, I was surprised. And the reason why I was surprised he announced he was transferring was because he played in every game as a true freshman this past season uh, and started a lot of it. Uh, let me get his stats. It wasn't like Wowser stats, but almost nobody on offense other than a couple of guys were like Wowser for Texas Tech this past season. He caught 28 passes for 264 yards and two touchdowns uh, in 10 games. And as a true freshman, 6'2", 190, 200 pounds, around there, uh, wide receiver. Uh, you know, he came in, he was, I think he was the only high school early enrollee last spring. Um, and it was impressive right off the bat, put on a lot of weight, good weight. Um, and, you know, with T.J. Vasher, his uncertainty, I mean, Jalen Polk stepped in there and started a lot of games and played well. I mean, he did not play like a true freshman. He played like a veteran for the most part. And uh, so... When you think about a guy who came in, got playing early playing time, uh, for him to leave, it's a surprise and it's a loss. Uh, it's a big loss for Texas Tech, and I, you know, and Texas Tech fans are reacting accordingly <laughs> on the message board. So, those are tough losses. Um, what does it mean? You know, I, I think one thing is uh, there was when you lose a lot, and Tech had a 
frustrating season this last season. So when that happens and then there's a change in the guard in terms of new players coming in and players from the previous regime uh, maybe getting pushed aside uh, and a whole new different coaching style, there's going to be players that are disgruntled, you know? I mean, and once again, when you're losing. Um, and the way Tech lost some games that were really close, some decisions, some poor execution from players, both played a hand in, in uh, some of those close losses. You know, it creates um, rifts, you know, and I think that's part of it. But I also think it's part of it is just, man, the transfer portal right now. It's easier to transfer than ever. Um, there's more guys transferring now than ever. You look at other schools, even schools that have had success, even just this last year, they're losing double-digit guys just like Tech is uh, from their roster and not just the normal attrition, but uh, guys that are kind of, whoa, this is surprising. You know, he was getting playing time early. He's a good player. I think you're seeing there's more talent. It's a flood of of recruit or of players uh, going to the transfer portal, and uh, so I think this isn't unique to Texas Tech. Um, I think both things are playing a part in it. I don't think it's one or the other. I think most people want it. Is it this or is it that? I think it's both. Um, is there a reason for concern? Yes, but I think also you know Tech has nine seniors returning. That's good. Seven of them are starters. They've brought in some pretty good transfers that I really like. Um, they need to bring in more. I think they're going to be under the 85 scholarship limit for the first time really um or at least they're gonna be they're gonna be multiple spots under i think for the first time since i can remember and, and part of this is mass exodus for the transfer portal so it'll be interesting to see what kind of changes there are from the ncaa nationally after this kind of i think they're waiting to see what happens and then they're you know be reactive as usual so but uh you know I, to me, the number one concern comes down to quarterback and what they're going to do there. And I don't think Alan Bowman was going to be the answer, so him leaving isn't terrible. I know some people disagree with that, and that, that's fine. I, I wish him the best, but uh, if, they, if they figure that out, they have a chance to have a decent season. If not, um, and, I mean, offensive line is starting to get scary with Farrar leaving, you know, um, Jack Anderson leaving for the for the pros. So we we'll have to see how they develop these guys this offseason and, and who ends up uh, starting and playing a lot for Texas Tech. So if they improve offensive line play, if they improve quarterback play, they have good receivers, they have good running backs, um, they have a solid enough defense, some really good linebackers and some DBs now, um, you start to feel like, okay, the schedule is a little easier than, than I think it has been recently and it will be moving forward. So I think here's an opportunity to win more than usual. Uh, but quarterback play has got to come on. So... Uh, we'll have to see. I think don't. I my advice would be don't panic, overreact too much either way. Whether it be about so many guys going to the portal in terms of oh college football is ruined, and don't overreact necessarily that this means uh, the program is more in shambles than we thought a month ago. You know, what I mean, I think it is struggling right now, no doubt. But uh, I, I think there's it's more than one answer for a while. These these guys are transferring away. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time.